the river meets the sea Catching fish is where I'll be Come rain or sunny skies I'm gonna grab my fishing line Yes, we're taking out some time That's fishing This has been a fishing tale Just like Jonah and the whale No place I'd rather be Yes, we're casting out a line Everybody's feeling fine That's fishing That's fishing Yeah, that's fishing That's fishing Yeah, he's got it! <laughs> Well, g'day guys, uh, the Colonel here. We've got a good friend here, Joe. He makes his own lures here in Tasmania. Handmade in Australia. Soft plastics. Now we all go to our different tackle shops and everything and buy all our own you know, soft plastics and whatever, even though I don't use much in the way of soft plastics, but I've been taught over the weekend. Now Joe um, makes every kind of soft plastic just about imaginable from like Itty bitty little crabs like this to one we just made ourselves. Now, this is a sample unit which we're going to show you um, that we made our own colour up. I get to name the colour, I don't even know what I'm going to name it yet. But the reason I've based this on, this just comes straight out of the mould, as you can see. And we're basing it on the slimies that we get down in Melbourne, that we go for kingfish and snapper, and we use them for all sorts of other different reasons. Um, and Joe, you're going to make a bigger one for us, aren't you? I am indeed. Up yes. to 175. About 175, 175 mil, maybe 108. We're, yep. we're working on that at the moment. But the whole key of the whole thing is having a couple of photos I've sent you of the slimies that we caught in Western Port. And uh, this is the so-called colour that we've come up with, even though it hasn't got all the markings on it yet. Joe just done one there for us on the table and was just showing us how... The black, even though it's not done correctly yet, you got the little black and you cover it with another coating yes. to keep the black on. And uh, also you make the jig heads as well. Yep. So we're really looking forward to this. And this one here has got a, a white bottom with a pearl and a, and a silver flicker, uh, yes. fleck through it. Is that the correct word? Yep. Fleck? Yeah, Just whatever. Better. Close enough. And this is a, a blue and a greeny colour yes. that we melted down. Combined custom colour. Custom colour that we've pretty much come up with. And uh, anyway, Joe, tell us a bit about your business anyway. I started about, started about 14 years ago designing and started with the grubs. Yes. And then after a few years I thought I can make something else. So I started playing around with the machines and came up with my own designs. It took me two years yep. to learn how to use it properly. But now I can pretty much make anything I like. From the crabs to yep. tiny little stoneflies. Yep. Now, if someone comes up with a great idea, can they actually get in contact with you and you can make a die up and a mould up, um, which you do here anyway? Because yep. I'll just, as I just showed you, Joe makes his own moulds here too, don't you? You got your yes. own NC machine and he, and he makes everything himself, which just shows that, like, those ones there are a little, um, what do you call them? Mud eyes. Mud eyes mud for all your trout fishermen. Um, now, for any information about Joe, go to thatsfishing.com.au, but I like this witchetty grub. It's a fair dinkum looking, slimy looking, witchetty grubby thing for all you ladies that don't like looking at them. Um, you can touch this one, of course. Uh, uh, I don't taste any good, mate. <laughs> Bit of flavour on there. Yeah. Um, they're pretty stretchy and strong, and you put a lot of work into this, mate, don't you? That's it takes a long time to get one from start to finish. Yep. Even designing the moulds takes up to about two weeks just to yep. design it. And then go through the sample process, the testing. Yep. Do the sample moulds to, to see if it works. Yep. That's a little crab for all you flathead fishermen that love catching your flatheads. Cast them out. Well, you probably know better than me because <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it that way. And uh, yeah, a brand. And you make your own jig heads too, even though they don't use any other brand of jig head, but yep. you can. You sell them as well? I do. I started, well, some of these you need custom jiggers for. Yeah. So your standard ones just don't quite suit them. So I thought, well, I may as well make the lures. 
And the jig heads. The jig heads as well. So that way you can use exactly how you want to. Yep. And um, he's got his own little packaging, yellow, beautiful little yellow packaging, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, oh, there's one. You've got one in arm's reach. Something we prepared earlier. Yeah, something we prepared. <laughs> and they come fully sealed containers like that. Um, and some of them have scent on them. Uh, and they put the scent in. He seals up the packet. It's fully sealed. You've got to rip it open. And how long do these basically last? They'll last until you either lose them. Which or... I lost a lot. <laughs> Mainly on trees, stumps, weeds, someone's boat, hat. Uh, have I missed anything out here, George? <laughs> He's laughing in the background, you fool. <laughs> uh, but these ones, they won't dry out, so you, yep. can, just, you can leave them. And leave, if you leave them in the packet, they'll last you, they'll last you years. years. I've had grubs, yep. the original grubs that I first made, still intact. Yep. But they'll last until you either lose them or a fish, or a big fish takes them on you, which is a great thing. And some of them, yeah, well, that's what we, that's what we all hope for. Um, but some of them, I, I noticed, not this particular one, but some of them have got a scent on them, like an aniseed scent. Yes. What's the reason of that? I've just been playing around with scents, fresh and salt water for a, yep. a, a little while, just to find the best, the best thing. And the, what I found was uh, just the aniseed. Yep. It's the best all around fresh and salt water that I've found so far. Oh, okay then. And you just give what, the packet a little bit of spray? I spray the... in the packet before I seal it. And then chuck the units in, and of course, yep. while they're sitting in the packet, they just they soak, soak up. And it does. does it, soaks, soak? it soaks the, the aniseed in. Okay. And you'll find that it does last a fair while. If you're fishing for a few hours and there's not much going on, you can just put them back in the bag. Yep. And they'll pick up the scent again. Yep. So we'll keep uh, you guys informed about our new one that's coming out. Uh, I don't know what colour we're going to call it. I don't know, we might call it the Colonel's Special or something. Well, it's there. It's got special sort of surprises in it, doesn't it? Slimy Colonel. Yeah, the Slimy <laughs> Colonel. There you go. Hey, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but look, guys, fair dinkum. Joe's here, lives in Tassie. We're in his uh, home. Um, support the guy. We need support here. Um, and uh, yeah, go to our website, thatsfishing.com.au. And thanks, mate. Pleasure. All bring in, showing us how it's all done, and I uh, hope you learnt something from it because I most certainly did. And he wants me to make a couple now. Mm. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> I'm the Colonel, catch us after. Tell him I'm going home I don't want your cold iron shackles Around my leg I don't want your cold iron shackles Around my leg Just as we're packing up, Joe's inside. I found another new one. It's a pilly. <laughs> Are we? <laughs>